It is uh, my very great pleasure to be here tonight to announce the 16th winner of the Ad News Hall of Fame Award. Ad News has always looked, when uh, allocating this award in the past, for people who have made a significant contribution to advertising in Australia, but more than that, people who have made a contribution that has also been something that Australia can be proud of on the world stage. I have known tonight's winner for 25 years. He is a man who has always moved with the times, who has always adapted and who has, most importantly in my mind, always been a great friend and understood relationships. The man tonight's winner is someone who I can speak about from the media side probably more than the client side, but whether it is uh, the Murdoch family, Rupert and Lachlan or the Stokes family, Kerry and Ryan or my father and myself and numerous other media executives in Australia, everyone simply thinks that Harold Mitchell is as good as it gets. So without further ado, Harold Mitchell. Ah, oh, James, thank you. I'm just wondering why everybody is taller than me. I've got to tell you, it didn't start off like that. It is an absolute pleasure, I might say, to be here, to, uh, to be with everyone that we've been competing with, that I hope in a good way for just so many years. I feel so good about the people in this room. Can I tell you that you are very, very special people? Australia has got less than 1 per cent of the world's population, but we have 5 per cent of the world's advertising market. We have a market here as big as the advertising market of France. We have the highest per capita advertising spend in the world. And you know what that means? The people in this room tonight are the best media people in the world. And for all the years... <laughs> And you know the history of what I've done together with, uh, with my family and everyone else over a long period of time. It's been a proud history, I must say, but I am so delighted with the fact that we've delivered into this, uh, into this industry such a great group of people who I travel to London now every three and four weeks, as you know, and I just say that we have got the best people here. So to be amongst all of those and to see that the next 30 years is going to be in the hands of the people here, I feel so very good. I should thank many people, but I won't because it's been a long night, and uh, it'll get longer, I can see that, because, uh, uh, because there's a couple of very, very big awards to come, and I thank all of you for, for being here for doing it. I just wanted to say that, that all of you know that you could get a job anywhere in the world, but please don't leave, because Australia is in a very special place. The 19th century belonged to Europe, the 20th century belonged to America, the 21st century belongs to Asia, and we are very important of Asia. This is the period ahead. I was talking to Paul a little while ago. He said, what's going to happen? I can tell you what's going to happen. This is going to be the richest, best period that you ever had. My city of Melbourne in 1901 had the highest per capita income in the world. It was a very rich economy because of the 50 years of gold that came before that. We've been delivered again into that period of time, and so for all of you, I know that you've got an incredible life ahead. Thank you so much for honouring me in this way and to all of the others that are here tonight. Thank you. Very, a, a great credit to all of them and to all of the winners, but I feel just so humble being amongst such an incredible group of people. Thank you. Thank you.